and welcome to educator.com. Uh, this is the first lesson that we're going to be starting off today and it's the idea uh, that we're going to be putting together through the whole series um, of lessons that will follow. And the, the main objective here is really just to get the basic ideas down on uh, sketching and uh, understand how uh, the sketch idea opens up the communication between um, your, you and the client um, or if you're just doing it for yourself it's definitely you need to um, lay the idea down um, so it makes much more, more sense and you have um, a much easier time going through the steps. Um, the third objective we're going to be learning is the necessary tools you'll need to get started and um, we'll jump right in and show you basically what we're uh, hoping to get to. So as we lay this uh, our our website out, the ultimate goal here is just to get through all this all these challenges and design uh, challenges that we're going to be facing and, and um, basically how to overcome them um, from the layout to put into code into a program and then how we test it out and then finally upload it up to a live server. So it's going to be a whole series th going through uh, these steps here. But as you can see here on the website, we just pretty much have all these layouts and um, this course is going to definitely help you to see how you're going to get to this final product and um, how we made the design uh, choices that we made um, based on what we gathered and laid out. Okay. So as we go through, um, the idea basically is really just uh, what I call is sketching. And you really have to take, understand that it's, it's, it's easy to um, write things down, but a lot of times when we have these great ideas, we don't always have something, a uh, sketch pad to write down things. So try to get in the habit of whether, whatever it is, write it down. Um, I do it all the time. And I actually listed a uh, uh, link right here. Um, of, of this basically that describes this whole idea much more in depth um, but this is just the short cut down version for you guys and basically what it is it's just it's just an article just on sketching and and what what you go through and why you would go through it and um, what basically ends up happening is it, you sketch allows you the idea to become possible uh, to see the possibilities and see what's impossible which is called the the rabbit hole and the article explains a lot about as you go through um, your design choices you might realize that this might not be uh, an, an idea that can really actually happen so uh, keep that in mind as you go through this and then sketching um, out a logo ideas and start the identity you got to start somewhere and do you base it around uh, an idea or logo some clients might come to you and say gosh you know what I really need um, uh, a website to go around my my company logo because maybe they don't have a website so you got to keep that in mind that not everyone out there is connected to the um, internet that way um, social networking has been a big part of uh, help to them but someone might want to actually sell, uh, sell product and it's important to actually um, be able to t work with whatever they have. I think here um, it just allows you to get uh, get involved as you sketch more out, and um, and I'll show some examples in a second of what this looks like. And basically, it really just allows uh, everyone to get involved and get permission to consider and talk. It's like brainstorming. If you have a good idea, um, and you're sharing it with a bunch of people. Whether you got the marketing department, you got the designers, you got you know the person in charge, the people that finance it. You got to be able to to put the ideas down. And when something's there and it's written down, there's some of a commitment there of what you want to do and what you're talking about, uh, rather than just just talking. And uh, when it's laid out, it, it makes much more sense. Uh, and people are more willing to just start saying, oh, yeah, you know, I can see this. They, they can, some people are just visual learners um, as well as, um, you know, just having conversations. So it just ties it down and it, it adds more commitment to it. Um, and that's really the round table of this next idea here is just people to brainstorm and um, get thoughts of an unfinished un, uh, idea. Um, you know, I've, I've done a of a lot of roundtable discussions of what things need to be at or be about and what needs to happen and it's important uh, if I didn't have anything there to show them that we would just been conversation and they wouldn't take me so seriously so as I lay things out they were able to see okay I get this or, or yeah I understand it because I gave them specifics 
Um, and really, all the, the tools you're really going to need here is, you know, simply it's it's all these here. You know, it's nothing nothing too uh, big here. You know, depending on whatever you have to get the idea down. Um, you know, you can even add uh, smartphones onto here as well because it's just really they they have so much application to them uh, nowadays. So that's that's pretty much the the version of uh, the idea. Now here is is where we actually I when I when I lay th these ideas down, I start thinking of everything that I could possibly think of. So when I when I take if I was taking this to a, a real client. Um, I have to have some ideas of what I'm going to use and I can really speak specifics because again if I have the design department there um, they're going to want to know this stuff too. Um, the, you know, the person in charge just wants to know what it's going to look like. So as we design this whole uh, website out and we do the brand and everything, um, this is some of the process we go to. So you know, as I went through, you know, I, this was my first one, and then I, I jumped here and I just started drawing these different ideas out. And then I, this this right here is just the the font that I was going to use. I thought it was you know it made sense and it was going to go with the branding because I did want to keep it kind of serious, but I didn't you know I didn't want to. It's kind of playful too. So using uh, between a serif and a sans serif font, um, you know, those are things you're going to have, design choice you're going to have to make based on your client and your target audience. Um, and then here, I just, you know, I write down colors uh, a lot of times because I'm not going to remember what a color looks like. I pull a color palette out and I take a look at what some of my possibilities are. Um, so if you kind of go, go back to this website here, um, you can see here a little bit where I'm using some of the, this color palette here. I'm going to this over a little bit. You can see. So I'm using, you know, these greens right here. Um, I did, you know, use a different uh, shades of green here because, you know, obviously I want, don't want it to blend uh, completely in. Um, and then you can see where I use these blues um, here uh, to kind of get this whole area and, and part of my actual logo, my header. And um, I use the orange colors for this part here, the logo. And if I go to the database here, you can see right here where I use um, this some of the oranges. So I'm blending all these colors together and, and, and planning it out now um, is, is really the major part, the major hurdle. You'll take longer um, in time to plan an idea out rather than going in and actually physically making the website um, as you get more and more familiar um, how this works. So it kind of gives you an idea of like we did use the this will be used in the final product, um, and, and there's just all these steps you got to go through to kind of get there, and some of the steps don't have to necessarily go in the exact order, but it, they those steps are important and key to get to that development. Um, but really here, as you can see, we we I did choose this uh, uh, logo here as a sketch. I thought it was more appropriate than than some of these down here. I really it wasn't too crazy about it, but you can see the progression that I had um, to basically get to this one. And um, as, I drew, as I drew this out, I'm like, okay, it makes sense. I can kind of see this a little bit more now. And then I, as I went in and used some different um, software, I was able to, to create the logo um, that you see um, in the final product here of this website right here. So, um, you know, it, that process is important. You gotta, you gotta do it. Um, just kind of just doing whatever, not having a, uh, any type of steps you're following. You know, you're going to be basically um, what I used to do years ago when I first started, and it was uh, I was all over the place, and I didn't really have a structure down, and it took me a lot longer to get projects down. And when you have clients who are waiting for for the product to be done, um, they don't got time for it. They're going to move on. So here we. Um, this is just the layout to give you a basic idea of what I did too. So it's not only just about the logo too, it's also the layout. So you may already have a logo, but I planned out ideally what I wanted. And I kind of kept it within a range here. I know that I did use in the final the 1024 pixel width um, because I felt I needed to have more um, spacing in there. But it's, it's, it almost looks exactly the same here. Um, to what I had, so I was able to use uh, CSS and um, some PHP to basically create this whole environment. So I think that's important to know that the, the power of, of using code also, you know, gives you a lot of leverage to, to do what you want and keep things the way you want um, as time goes on. So you can see here, um, go back to the home page here, 
it, it's, it uh, doesn't do a too bad of a job as far as syncing up here uh, what I had here. Um, and um, you can kind of see the differences right here. Um, you know, it wasn't specific on, on so much the height. It could have been anything in there. Um, but as I planned it all out, I wanted to make sure that, you know, I, I knew where things were going to be at. And as time went on, I just keep adding. And if I had to make some changes, I made some changes. Um, one thing I did make a change on, um, you know, from this uh, original was, was the login. And I didn't need both because I actually added both in there um, when I wrote the PHP. So if you go in, um, your cart's there. If you were to check out, you're going to have the login page built in already. So it was just a design choice. I can simplify things down. Um, didn't have to have all these extra buttons, so I thought it was appropriate to eliminate one um, as this time went on. So pretty much everything here, draw it out. I use, this, I use graph paper because of the lines. It's just easier to get a ruler um, and a, a pencil, and I just draw out. And I just start writing ideas down. Um, and I do a lot of research um, on the web and just trying to get things done. So you definitely want to have um, an understanding of, of this first. Get the, get the basics down first so you know what you're doing. Um, again, nothing's worse than wasting all this time, and um, it's not what you wanted. So um, you know, feel free to um, sketch out your ideas. An idea is not a bad idea. Um, so definitely um, have fun with it. You know, see, see what you can come up with, and then later on, be able to make this so this is my layout here for for the website as you can really see and um, it's laid out this way so as the course goes on we'll be able to actually start little by in baby steps to kind of go through this and dissect all of this and really put this all together okay um, and that really concludes this the, the intro part of this uh, of the idea and uh, again thank you for watching educator.com